This is the Woody Piano Shack Garden Summer Concert Party, and you're invited. There'll be loads of birds. I'm setting up a new camera angle, let me explain how this performance didn't go exactly to plan. So I'd carefully prepared a list of songs and appropriate presets in advance so that the shoot would go smoothly and quickly. I used the Triton VST for this purpose and I did indeed check the Triton hardware manual just to be sure the presets would be the same. But then once the cameras were rolling, I quickly realised that this particular Triton Classic has a completely different set of preset banks to the VST. So all of my best laid plans came for nothing. It was a bit of a waste of time. and We're going to have to start from scratch and wing it whilst the cameras are rolling. It's a bit irritating, to be honest, but the show must go on. To make matters even worse, I cannot see anything on this washed out 90s LCD screen. It's impossible to see anything, even in the dim light of dusk. So I'm randomly picking presets using the buttons and I have no idea what they are called or what category they are in. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to make notes of the patch name. So we'll have to do without that this time. Crowd is a bit flat, let's do some audience participation exercises. Just kidding, this is how I sync the camera audio with the audio recorder in post production. All together now! This, in case you weren't aware, is the magnificent Triton, the flagship synth, workstation, and sampler from Korg released in 1999. And we all agree, it still sounds pretty dope today, over two decades later.
I'm using the combi mode, which layers together programs and adds drum patterns and interesting arpeggios. In some cases, okay, it great. is a nice one-man band. Remembers this obscure 80s hit. UK viewers only, probably. This delayed guitar patch reminds me of a classic track. So I'm hunting for an appropriate patch to play some Cindy Lauper, but it's not this one. Nice patch, but not this one either. Banging beats, let's try it with some new order. No, this is awful. Make it stop now. When I was prepping for the video, I found an awesome Africa patch on the VST plugin. But that was on the VST and there's no sign of it anywhere on the hardware. This particular patch isn't it, but it is quite interesting nevertheless. This one isn't it either. I'm determined to find something similar. After all, I spent ages learning the tricky chords to Africa. No, it's not this one either. Nope. Perhaps this one. Perhaps 
perhaps this one then. No, but it's a great Fairlight choir sound. Why are the chords so hard? Is it just me? But are the Africa chords impossible to remember? It's in quite a tricky key. So, do you like my um, uh, reharmonizations? I'm looking for some nice string sounds for these Sinead O'Connor chords. I think I can find some better ones later. Still not given up on Africa, and I'm starting to like these chords now. Sinead O'Connor, again. Guess what? Here we go again. Let's get this over with. I don't even like this tune very much. Was that chord again? Here's an epic 80s riff. Okay then, here's a slow Mick Hucknall crooner for everybody to enjoy a last dance.
I think I found a nice Cindy Lauper preset. Here we go. Actually, some awesome people who paid for this concert. Here they all are and thank you so much. If for some reason you want to give me all of your money, there are helpful links down in the description. Seriously, thanks so much for coming to my concert. Have a good one. <laughs>